Hey, hey, poker peeps. My name is Sky with Smart Poker Study. So in this video, I'm going to help you fine tune your statistics report within Poker Tracker 4 to make it a little bit more user friendly for yourself. I'm going to show you how to add necessary statistics, take out those unnecessary ones that kind of clutter your screen. And I'm going to help you just in general, organize your stats tab to get more out of your study time with Poker Tracker 4. But I do recommend if you're at home on your normal computer, not on your tablet or phone or anything, um, open up Poker Tracker 4 and follow along because action is the greatest teacher. And real quick, I mean, you're probably noticing this is my garage behind me uh, with the whole uh, shelter in place thing going on. Sometimes it's a madhouse in there. So I set up a workstation out here uh, for a little bit of peace and quiet. And so I can help you all out as well. So on the screen, Poker Tracker 4 statistics tab right here. Um, I have tailored this over time to be super useful for myself in analyzing my own game and analyzing that of my students. Um, you probably notice right now that there's some statistics here that you might not have in your own report, and it's missing a lot of stats that are currently on your report if you're set up for the default stat viewer in Poker Tracker 4. So uh, what we'll do first is I'm going to show you all the stats that I have here from left to right. And so pause the video if you need to see what the stats are, write them down, or you can start uh, configuring the port report for yourself in Poker Tracker 4. But all the way through CBET flop is right here. Pause the video once again if you need. We'll scroll over, CBET flop all the way back to the right. And we're almost at the end. We've got the check raise stats here. Scroll on over. There's the check raise once again, all the way to the final stat, call river and one at showdown. 31% terrible. Less than one out of three times I'm calling and winning. Terrible, terrible, something I need to work on for sure. But let's scroll back over to the left. Uh, once again, if you needed to, go back in the video, pause it so you can get all the stats in order there. Now, this, of course, is how I like to view the stats. This is organized for my own studies and my own diving through students database. Um, you're going to have to figure out how to make this user friendly for yourself. But let me show you how to do that. The first thing you'll do is right click and hit configure report. Now, here are all the different stats that you can choose uh, to add to your report. And then over here, these are the report stats with a quick description. Now, from top to bottom is the same as left to right. So you could see hands, currency one, win rate, VPIP, PFR, hands, currency one, win rate, VPIP, PFR, same thing here. So as you move stats up and down, it moves them left and right over here in the report. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to add a new statistic. Let's say right now you are really focused on your CBET game. So you want those front and center um, right there on the screen so you don't have to scroll left and right. You can see I don't have my CBET stats fully populated over here. So what you want to do is in the search bar, type in a key term from the stat. CBET, steal, 3-bet, float, whatever the stat might be. You can see when we type in CBET, all the different stats that have the word CBET pop up. So what you're going to do, let's say you want to focus on CBET, flop, turn, and river. And you want them directly after VPIP and PFR. Highlight VPIP, and then when you double click, double click a stat, bam, it pops up directly below, which will be directly to the right of the stat in the report. CBET flop, of course, we want to see turn next, and then river at the end. Hit OK, and now we're going to see right here, those three CBET stats will pop up. There we go, CBET flop, turn and river. So now as you're focused on these, every time you open up Poker Tracker 4, they're gonna be front and center so you can see what your stats are currently like. Now let's say you're done with that focus and you don't want them here anymore, you're fine with them being at the right of your report. Or currently your report might have something like all in adjusted big blind per 100 hands. I don't use that stat myself, maybe you don't use it either. Either, let me show you how to remove stats. Go back to configure and very simple. CBET flop, just double click it, double click, and it just removes it directly from the report. And it's gonna be gone from up here. Let's say, um, you know, you wanna remove a stat like VPIP. For whatever reason, you want those stats gone. But then you realize to yourself later on, dang it, I need that stat back, it's super useful. Once again, you're simply going to configure report and then type in a keyword from the stat VPIP and then bam, there's VPIP. So let's double click it. But oh no, it ended up at the bottom of the report. Well, one thing you can do, double click it to remove it, scroll back up. We want VPIP right after the win rate, double click it, bam, it's there. But let's say for some reason, um, not for some reason, let's say you're really focused on your three betting pre-flop now. 
you already have the stat. If you just click this arrow and start moving it up, it's going to move it from right here all the way to the left just after PFR. So while this populates, if you enjoyed this video, if you're learning something from it, please subscribe to the channel. Click that little thumbs up like button down below. And please leave a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. I appreciate it. I respond to every comment. And then so like you could see VPIF, uh, I'm sorry, 3BET just now moved from over here back to over there. Let's move it back one last little time, show you how that works. You're just going to arrow down, put it back to where it was right before 3BET re-steal or three bet steel. So we're gonna see it populate right here. And shebang, that's it, nice and simple. So now you can configure this report to make it more useful for yourself, to tailor it to your current studies. Alrighty, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.